everyone so i just want to talk about the fretboard notes for a minute uh, and just show you an easier way to learn them i'm thinking of this from a chord point of view um if you're playing lead guitar you probably would need to learn the fretboard a bit earlier in order to know where your other root notes are but i'm just thinking in terms of the th key string and the a string if you're playing six string guitar um and we're just going to scrap all the sharps and flats and just work on what i call the main notes so we're going to look at that now Okay, so if we take a look at this for a minute, I'm going to show you the document here that I use in lessons, and it really is helping people with the fretboard. Right, so let's make this slightly bigger here. So what happens a lot of the time is people go in and go flat out to learn the whole fretboard straight away. Now, if you're coming from a lead guitar point of view, I would look at the thinner strings being more of a priority, but from a chord playing rhythm point of view, you really only need the E string and the A string. And you can be playing then thousands of chords and or whatever it is, bar chords, um, open chord shapes, you know, the well, not the open ones, some of the open ones, I suppose, but mostly the bar chords and par chords. So to show you what I mean, instead of grabbing a fretboard document that has all the sharps and flats on it, forget about those at the start and try and get what I call the main notes down. The E, F. G, A, B, C, D, and E is the octave on the 12th. So you'll notice something. Uh, if we'll have a quick look, we've got the open E string. So the open E strings here go straight to F, right? And B goes straight to C. Every single occurrence of those notes on the fretboard is exactly the same. You don't get E and then E sharp because it would go on forever then, E sharp sharp, and you know, it can get really confusing. So there's a cutoff point, E goes to F, and B goes to C. So open string E, F on the first fret, G on the third, A on the fifth, B on the seventh, C on the eighth, D on the tenth, E on the twelfth. And that's why the two dots are there to mark out the octave. If you go on ahead, it just starts repeating again. You've got this basically 12 frets pretty much. And then after that, it's just the same thing all over. 13th fret would be F and G and so on. So what I recommend is before you do anything else, because it's a visual thing, looking down at the guitar, you're looking down at the string first. So you may as well learn that one first. And obviously when you cover that string, you're already covering this one. All right. So. If we take a look at that, so that's what's happening there. Now, if we take a quick look, the A, B, next to it's C, then D and E, right? So you've got A, two frets up, which is called a whole step. B to C is a half step. And then you've got whole steps again. Take a look at the A string. A, B, C and D. It's exactly the same. It doesn't look like it on the fretboard, but the guitar is very well organized. Uh, it's different to piano where you can say, oh, well, I know that the black keys are either sharp or flat. There's no doubt about it and the white ones aren't. Or we don't have that advantage on the guitar because you don't have any black and white keys. You just have a bunch of frets and some dot markers and a few strings. So on the A string, the open string is A, then B, then C is a half step up one fret, up two frets, D, up two is E, half step again like it was, D, F, D, F. You can even hear it up two frets again g and then we hit the octave the a on the 12th so when your strings are running e a d g b e when they're open they're running e a d g b e here as well of course on the a string if we went on up past the a we would have a sharp and so on and then b and whatever else but we're only talking about think of it in terms of the open string to the 12th fret that really is the fretboard the rest of it's just repeating okay so it's a pretty short video, but I wanted to just sort of go through that. Okay, so I'm going to show you a diagram here, and this is the kind of thing you're going to come across probably. Now, this is exactly what you want to avoid at the start. I mean, that just looks so confusing. You look at that going, right, where is the order in all this? Forget about all these sharps for the minute. There is what we were doing a minute ago. If you can visually try and take, forget about everything else here, and visually pull all those out of it, and just think E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. 
So this is why I took all that out of it and just did a diagram up that just has what I call the main notes. So don't worry about a diagram like that. Yes, you do need to learn them all eventually. There's no question, but you don't need to do it all in one go. Cover the E string, you've got two strings covered. And cover the A string, then you've got yourself set up to play 99% of your chords with the root note either on the E string or the A string in terms of bar chords and um, par chords as well. Okay, so hope you find that useful and do let me know in the comments. Um, it is a big thing and the sooner you start learning the fretboard early on, the better. You are going to need it eventually. And if you can get your head around it at the start, all the better. Okay, I hope that's helped and I'll see you in the next video.